Okay, here we are, EQS 580, Mercedes all new, all electric, electric vehicle. Coming in for a quick little test drive here. Show you the soft closed doors here, comfort doors, I should say. Run the doors out, foot on the brake. Door closes, very cool. So a little test drive, first driver drive for me in the all new EQS. This is of course not out yet, gonna be coming hopefully by the end of this year. Pretty impressive, that hyper screen, 55 and a half inches or so, three individual clusters. Uh, just a pretty, pretty neat setup. It does feel very futuristic, very comfortable in here as well. Uh, just kind of a neat feel. We're doing, we're doing kind of a follow of the leader here. Do have a head-up display there as well too. Follow the leader, we've got a Tesla for comparison. There's the EQS 450, I'm in the EQS 580. And um, really kind of a, a neat comparison overall here. That's our kind of our lead instructor here. You hear on the background kind of guiding us through. So, apologize for the background. That's that's a, actually helping me <laughs> to not get me lost. So, I'm going to hear the uh, caboose. Uh, if you get stuck somewhere, just uh, reach out and read it. First impressions, kind of getting on that torque. 516 horsepower, uh, comparable to that in torque as well. Again, the head-up display there too. Um, and I'll adjust the settings here for sport mode. And they've got... The acceleration really, um, really brisk, feels quick. Uh, the ETA or estimated acceleration to 60 is about 4.1 seconds or so, and you can feel every bit of it. Um, so that's that's nice and reassuring to feel that for sure. Give a little acceleration boost here. I don't know if you heard the background too. There is, you can choose your your audio, um, what you want to hear. Uh, you can get a little bit more, a little less when you're accelerating or decelerating. It's kind of cool. I mean, it's fun. It kind of gives you that feel that you're still getting the power if you're not used to the the silence. Of course, you can go silent mode as well too. Uh, really cool. And again, I apologize. Obviously, I'm, I'm focused on the road primarily, so that's why I'm not putting a ton of uh, info into the video detail. But uh, for the most part, uh, just kind of trying to give you the driving impressions. A very smooth feel compared to the Tesla. I would say this feels um, more comfortable, a smoother ride per se, compared to like the Tesla that I just drove, the Model S. Now that wasn't the Plaid version that I just drove, um, was the dual motor though. Um, and the layout, of course, is very different here, but very luxurious um, comfort seats, and massage seats, ventilated seats as well, uh, all synthetic materials too. Um, really, really nice, really comfortable. For construction workers, one guy working, the other one's leaning against the barrel. 
kind of playing with some of the adaptive crews as well too. Yeah, I would say this is pretty impressive. Um, it's neat to see Mercedes join the uh, the EV push in America, this first ever uh, EQS. And you've probably gone over uh, some of the details, but um, this is gonna be a little larger cabin space than the all new S-Class Mercedes. Uh, a little more quiet, obviously, because it's EV. Um, the drag coefficient, from what we understand, sets a new benchmark, 0.20 is the drag coefficient. So you're looking, the most efficient, uh, cutting through the air, most slippery vehicle in production is what Mercedes is saying is of this point, 0 0.20, pretty impressive. Um, and then the speed, speed's supposed to be quicker in this car than the, um, ICE internal combustion engine counterpart. You can see the lane tracking there, really, really nice graphics as well too. Yeah, you can hear kind of when I uh, tap the brake, get a little bit of a noise there. It's 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 clever, and some people may like want to turn it off. I kind of like that Mercedes lets you choose. You know, if you get some feedback, I understand there's haptic feedback inside the uh, gas pedal too, or the, I should say the uh, accelerator pedal, since we're not using gas clearly. But um, haptic feedback to get your ideal range for most efficiency, if you want to choose. So much technology in this car. Obviously, they're you know their pinnacle car, S class electric. They're going to put everything they can in it, and um, okay, not just red light, but the next we'll be taking a right. So make sure you keep up and just follow me. Before. Pretty impressive. Details in the back. We'll kind of go over, but you can. Uh, of course, you've got the ambient lighting all the way through here, but you can even go back and um, adjust the cone size of your reading light. So how big of a reading light you have, um, the intensity of the light, really impressive customization. Handling around, you know, parking lot, very comfortable, very easy to use. Again, I apologize for the lack of narration here, kind of focusing on what, where we're headed. I think we're gonna swap cars and I'm gonna hop into the EQS 450, but just wanted to, to bring you along for a ride of the all new EQS 580, Mercedes benchmark for electric vehicles. Hoping to be coming out fall of 21 is, is kind of the anticipation. Still a lot of uh, details they're finalizing, but really just a neat opportunity to get a taste of, um, of what Mercedes offers on this vehicle and joining the EV uh, crowd. You know, Mercedes has announced they wanna have 25% uh, of their cars hybrid or electric by 2025. By 2030, they wanna have about 50% and then by 2039, they wanna be carbon neutral, meaning all of their cars are either hybrid or plug-in, the new ones they produce. So pretty, uh, pretty serious effort by Mercedes to go the EV route. All right, well, that's the first uh, drive here of the EQS 580 uh, for me, and hopefully you enjoyed at least a little taste of it. Overall, really impressive. Uh, of course, I'll have more videos and updates here soon. All right, hope everybody's having a great day. Take care.